Oh, you've got all dust over yourself, baby. Look, you're covered in dust. Well, shall we tell them what we're going to be doing right now in the garden? While it's not raining. Give, yep. That gives you a clue. What? Putting the tent up. Yeah, we're going to have a go of our tent, folks. Our little Coleman Sky Dome with dark room technology. Perhaps you should leave it up. You can sleep in there tonight and see well, if it I is waterproof. Well, I might have to, might I? I don't know. I've cut the grass. I've picked up all the dog poo. This is what we're dealing with, folks. Let's have a look. Right, so this is what we're looking at, shall We've not even opened it yet. It's oh, brand new. Feel. It's dark room technology. This is a six birth tent, apparently. Although, I don't think you get six people in. Well, you will probably will, but you, you, you'll be laying right next to each other. Oh, no, thank you. And it fits two queen air beds, Sharon, look. It's a six person tent, 10 foot by eight foot. And I think it's about six foot high, yeah. Here it's not heavy though, is it? Look. No, not really. No. Oh. Get the bag open, shall Let's have a look inside it. Let's get the bits out. So I will be doing a review on this, oh, folks. This box. ain't a review, eh? It's a box. A box in a bag, yeah. I will, we'll have to go back in the box. I'm going to be doing a review on this on oh, my other channel. I'd like to see you get it all back in the box. Eh? It will go in, Sharon. Don't you worry about that. Right, pull it out. So I'm, I'm not going to be reading the instructions. I'm going to try and do it without the instructions because I've watched many videos on how to set these up. So you can pull it out. Keep going. You'll have a few little packages in there. Don't you rip that box, baby. I've got to use that again. Right, unhook them little um, cable ties. They're actually bits of ribbon. Of course they are. I'm standing here, folks, just letting her do the unpacking because uh, I'm going to be doing all the work in a minute. Hey, Shall? Yeah, I reckon. And she's having trouble with that not choke, folks. Chokes. <laughs> no, I'm not having trouble. I'll just I'll show you it. the garden, folks, where, we've, uh, where we're going to put it. So, as you can see, I think I'll put it here somewhere. Makes um, sense. I've cut the grass and everything's looking nice. Well, nice as it can be. But don't look over there, folks, for God's sake, will you? That's a bomb site. I still haven't done nothing with that yet. There you go. Right, OK. Do you want to hold the camera? I'll put it just on there for now. Oh, OK, come on. Hold on. Let me put... You're, it's going to be a two-man job, isn't it? Of course it is, Sharon. Hold on. Oh, one man, one woman. Well, hold on. <gasps> There's a song there by ABBA. Of course there is, One right. man, one woman. So what have we got here? Let's have a look here. So we've got a little bag of tricks. Open that one up, Sharon. I think that's the tent pegs yeah, in there. it feels like tent pegs. There we go, open that one. I think that one is the pole for the little port, not porch, it's a rain shield for the uh, front door. That there is the outside rain cover. These poles are actually attached to two corners of the ground sheet. So and should we take that over and put it on the grass? Yeah, hold on for a minute. We'll that do that right there. now, baby. Bringing this over here, this should be pretty straightforward, folks. So you take the ground sheet, that's the back of it, Undo that like that, flip that bit over like that. So literally, that's the length of it, yeah? That's all you've got to do there. So you go to the front bit, yeah? And pull it over that way, like that, okay? And again, one more, one more. That's it, there you go. Now you're cooking on gas. I'll do the same with this one. Over and over one more time. So that's it, hold it, hold it, sorry, my go, one more go. Okay, right, let's have a closer look. That is the ground sheet. So just having a look around it, folks. This is obviously the front. No! Eh? Say what you see. <laughs> How obvious. People aren't silly. Right. We've got a set of poles attached over there. We've got a set of poles attached over there. So we just string them poles together. Let's come around. You can do that. Just unclip that red thing. Right, that's it. Pull that elastic band off of there. There you go. Now they will just go in to each other. They just literally push in, they're all elasticated. There you go, with a big, big cord going through it. Once they're all in, now you can go over into that corner, put the red ball into there. There's no red ball. I mean the black ball. Push that into there. Feed it in the old end. Remove your fat I can't get my finger out, Sharon. There you go. Right, now you see that little hook there? Yeah, hook that. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Put one on there for the moment. It's going to fall down at the moment because we haven't got the other one in yet. It's, you can do this by yourself. They do say you can put this up within five minutes, folks. All right. Now, if you do on. the other one, right, go to the other one now. That other pole there. What, this one? Yeah, that's the only other one, Shia. Well, no, I didn't know if you wanted me to go and hook that bit up. Well, no, that's already in. That's, that's the beauty of it. One of them's already in, look. No, click the hooks I'm on about. No, you normally cross them over first. See, we've done this a little bit, we've started like, you normally just lay this down, you see. Well, I'm only doing what you said. Well, are you? Yes, you're the instructor. Remember what I said then about the instructor? What did I say, where are you going with that, that now? Way. Come over the top of the tent, baby, yep. There you go, so you're walking in, that's better. 
Hey, I see. Don't forget, this is our first time, shall we? We ain't doing too bad, love. I ain't watch no videos. I'm just using my noddle. Well, no, I'm, I'm teaching you, baby. There you go. And that goes into that little pocket in the corner. It's looking great. I'm really happy with that. See, when you've both got them laying down, all you do is you lift them up in the middle and you clip the middle up first. That's the way to do it, apparently. There you go. Right, put that in that little corner. In that little ball bag. <laughs> that little ball, Sharon, put it in that little ball bag. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Right, now. Come and stand in the middle, in, inside, there you go, right. You're actually in the tent now, you've dropped that, you can't reach that well, now. How do you want me to do both? I'm holding this one for you, baby. I can't do both, I'm short. I'm holding it for you, it's not a problem. Now you see in the middle down there, look, on that net, that net. He wants me to bend that, I'll that and bend, right, Wait yeah. there, wait there, let me, on, wait, 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 wait there, wait there. I'm gonna put the camera on the tripod, wait there. Right, what they suggest, you can stand holding that for a minute. You get the one in the middle of the tent, which is this one here, it's got a double hook on it, look. You just get on with it, man. Yeah, I am doing it, baby. One goes on, yeah, let's have it, I got it. One goes on one way, like that, and the other one goes on the other way, like that. So once you've got to that stage, all right, you can go around and clip all the other ones on this, yeah. There you go, beautiful. Then then it should hold up, apparently. There you go. Dark room technology, sure. Oh, I think I might have put that one in the wrong place. I think it's up there somewhere. Something's gone wrong here, isn't it? Hey. There you go. Let me just take that one back off. Five again. minutes, my backside. Hey. Five minutes, what? <laughs> my backside. <laughs> Actually, you keep going around with that one then. That'll get them in line. There you go. There you go. We are getting there, folks. I'd like to know the short person. Hey. The centre one. Hold on. Let's pull that back up there for a minute. There you go. Look. No way. Yeah. Come here. That's got to be pulled up there. I think they all just gathered up too much. There, Shell. That one's got to slide that one over there, Shell. Look. Shell, that what? middle one, that, that one there, it's on the wrong side of that clip. Oh, one you done. <laughs> I didn't do that. Well, I didn't do it. I didn't do it, done it then. You did. That's the one of the middle ones. Have you done that? Right, baby. Shell, I think I should have read the instructions first. Oh, I'm sure yeah. they do say peg it down first. Let's take that out of there for a minute. There you go. Oh, there we go. It's, the, the wind's doing no, it. No, the clips are in slightly wrong place, weren't they? So let me go inside, folks, now. Let's go inside. Let me come in oh, there. Oh, you can do it from in here. Oh, it's dark room technology, shall we? Oh, not even yeah, well, that's it. That's what we're doing. Well, that's all it was, yeah. That's all it was. You can do it from inside, folks. No, you can't. Oh, you can. Yeah, I can. You hold the camera. Right, so you've got the two in the middle there. That one goes over there. It's quite hard to hold the clip, isn't it? You don't want to rip the bloody canvas. Five minutes, yeah? Yeah, well, we've only been down here about three minutes, yeah? <laughs> God, I mean, your clock on here is nine minutes. Hey, eh? How is it? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Shell. Film from inside, Shell. Get, get a shot inside. I am. Yeah, there's a way of doing this, folks, obviously. Yeah, not our way. No, look, it's on. There you are. There you go. There you are. Yeah, you've got to come around here and do these. Look. Oh, OK. Yeah, if you get these clips the wrong way. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's it, yeah. I think you've got to peg the base down first, folks, to be honest with you. There we go. That's it, I think, isn't it? That's not a bad size, is it? Right, come outside, Joe. Right, so we're just pulling out the uh, the rings there, folks. Look. Right, so we're just, we're just going to pin it down, folks. You've got two around the other side. I'll have another clip. Yeah, I have bought bigger ones of these, just to um, make sure you get a good application. That's it, I think. That's the four corners done. So then the rest then are for the Then we've got the, the uh, cover to go over the top, yeah. Let's do that then. Well, this is going to be good. Oh, this is easy. What, trying to reach over the top? So that, folks, has actually gone up Pretty easy. We've made a few mistakes, obviously, but you've seen it all live. So you've got the outside cover now. And all we've got to remember is the writing, the words Coleman, have got to be on the sides, Sharon. Right. So you just literally sling it over the top. So, darkroom technology. 
It's all black inside. Where's the word Coleman? There. Right, I've got one on the other side. And there'll be a peak at the front. I think that's it there. Yeah, so straight over the top. Ready? Straight over the top. Walk to the back. That's it. Hold it. Hold, <laughs> hold, 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 hold the other bit. <laughs> okay. And just ease it down. You'll sort that oh, in a minute. Oh, it's coming off. Yeah, hold on. If we go one diagonal corner, chat, it should be all right. You start, no, you've gone over that, go over that corner. If I we go diagonal. It flying. If, chow, if we go diagonal, it won't fly away because you're on one side yes, and I'm at the other. I but I went to stop it because it was taking off because you was this end. It's got to be less stressful than this, folks, on uh, the it's day. It's camping for you. No, this, chow, we're dealing with something we've never dealt with before, baby. So don't worry about it. You're doing fine. <laughs> you're doing great. All right, you're still diagonal. Yeah. All right, well, I've got, um, I'm going to tie that around that pole there for the moment, I think. Um, well, I'll do that there. Hey? I'll just leave that like that. No, I've not even tied it off, have I? What have you done there? Just using the black thing, using my brain. <sighs> Don't get your tent out of the windy day. I didn't even see that black thing there, Sharon. That is 100% correct what you've done there. It's got elastic on it, look. I didn't even see it, folks. Well, Sharon, you seem to be better at this camping lock than I you're letting on. I did used to work in millions. Come here, Sharon, look. I'm going to do my guy rope here. Okay, well, we'll do the guy ropes first. So yeah, these come with it, folks. They're just elastics onto that hook, onto the actual hook at the bottom there, which really is pretty straightforward. So Sharon's gonna tag the guy ropes out. It wouldn't be all the way out here. Hey? No way. No, you can put them down, duck them down, and that, they back up on themselves, they double up on themselves. You loop them. So this thing, as I say, is the um, the little pelmet. Call it a pelmet. We just whack that together there, like that. And then apparently you thread it through. And that's the job. So. There's a little slot in there, which you just whack it through, like that. Why are you talking like that? I don't know, Sharon. Well, that don't work. It's just happening. It will work, baby. No, what I've done here. Hold on. And then you've got little eyelets down here. That's it. And then you've got one the other side. I'll load that one in. Now go the other side. See the one the other side? Put that in there, and that's the pelmet done there. And that pulls it out. There you go. Look at that. Oh yes, and there's your little pelmet, folks. Look. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Oh, that is good, Sharon. Yeah, these things, Sharon. What you do, I think. Look, I think what you do is you use these as the tightening things. So somehow I can't remember how you do it now. Like that's shorten it. Look, then that tightens it. Something like that. I don't think that's right, but that's the idea of what you do. You slide this little plastic thing up, and that's what adds the tension on it. Anyway, let's have a little look inside it now, Sharon. This is dark room technology, folks. So I'm gonna go inside now. Oh, blinking hell. Oh, that's great, Sharon. Now, you don't realize, folks, that it's actually lovely and dark in here. I don't know if you, you can see me, can you? Yeah, I'm standing up fully, I'm, well, I'm about 5'7", so obviously if you're six foot or plus, you'll hit the roof, but there's still plenty of room here. What's this bit here? That's a bag, isn't it? No. What do you mean, no? It's not a bag. Oh, hang on, is it, is it the thing to go in the front there, is it? Oh yeah, you just take that down. It's a little kneeling thing, I suppose. You'd put that down there, wouldn't you? Yeah, you'd pin it, look, you'd tag it, I suppose, at the yeah. end, look. Just put your feet, shoes on, take your shoes off, I suppose. It's quite a big go inside, shall you? She has taken her shoes off. And you all, shouldn't no. take your worst shoes in a tent. No. You'd be sleeping in here, wouldn't you, tonight? Let me see you standing there, shall you? I am standing. You're 5'2", you're aren't you? So that's pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. Go and get your little light. Yeah, I'll go and get, well, get, I'll tell you what, we're going to get, we get the inflatable bed up as well, shall you? Just shut that door and see how dark it is inside. Shut see how easy door. it is to shut. Dark. 
dark room technology, folks. <laughs> oh, hello. What's that noise you're grunting? Getting on my knee. <laughs> it's quite big, though, isn't it, really? Well? Hang on. Is it dark? I actually thought it would be darker. Why? I suppose it is dark, but I thought it would be darker. No. I expected it to be practically black. Well, it is it's totally black. Well, you're not in here with me, and I can see everything. I can see my fingers in front of me. Well, you, you, it's not going to be totally black, Shia, but compared to a normal tent, it's very dark in there. Where's Mummy, Dougal, Merlin? Well, it did take us a little bit longer than uh, we thought, but that's because we didn't read the instructions properly. I thought I knew enough by watching a few YouTube videos, but we've definitely found out a bit more about it by doing it ourselves on the first time. So anyway, open the door, baby. No. Why? <laughs> Quite comfortable. He's laying down in there, I bet. I oh, am. No. Right, hope the door right up, fold it right back. I think you can roll it back afterwards. There is a way to just roll it up. Anyway, leave it like that for the moment. Let's get this uh, double inflatable bed, folks, set up. Get your bedroom ready for tonight. <laughs> I think you're funny, didn't you? No, I'm in the bed. Are we, Merlin? We're in the proper bed. I'll do that not Sharon, I can't see it properly. Look, that one there, double knot thing, innit? So this is an Ola Hike inflatable bed, which we've got here, folks. I'm really impressed with that, actually. Looking inside it, I know you, the light comes through the bottom shell, but not through the top. As I say, we will do a demo on all this as well, folks. No, don't put it inside, take it outside. I was just put in the bag in it. Put it outside, shell. So it didn't blow away? It won't blow away, because I'll put your shoes on it. There you go, like that, look. So this is it, that can lay out now. Just lay it out flat in there, and I'll get an extension lead out. Normally we'd be inflating this with our um... mouth. <laughs> no, with our um, our blue tea power loon it. That's it. Keep undoing it. Fold it. Open it up. I do know. I think you'd get four in there comfortably, wouldn't you? You want a bit of space between you, wouldn't you? Yeah. I think you struggle with six. Although they show four people land in a, a line and someone land along here or something. I think they showed in the uh, in the thing, but. Uh... Right, so what we got here, you've got the ele electric air pump here. In there's your lead, which is uh, already wired in. So that's the off position. Deflate goes that way, inflate goes that way. So let me go and get a plug and I'll plug it in. Right, okay, baby. Right, we're on a campsite at the moment and we've got some 16 amp power there. So let's plug that in. Right, go in there, baby. You're laying down already. You in? Into that right, one. okay. And all the plugs should be in, so it should be a matter of just doing that. Get out, Merlin. And that should start the pump up. <laughs> Look, it's an outside house. It's quite big, Charlotte. It's alright for two people, isn't it? Or me? <laughs> yeah, you. I think it's alright. That's nice, rather than sleeping on the floor, Sharon. Is it getting hard, Shell? Yeah. So they reckon after the first inflation, after two to three hours, it might go down a bit, but then you pump it up again. That's a 130 watt pump on that, folks, by the way. Those of you interested in the rating on that for their uh, power banks or whatever. All right, so you pull that out. We just turned it off, folks. And you just push your lead back into the hole. That's it. Go on then, push it into a corner. That side of that. I think I prefer it over that side, Shell. Would do, the west side I'm laying, wouldn't he? Perfect, that'd do. There you go. Have a lay down on it, Shell. Mm, that's got to grab it harder. Hey? Bit harder, please. I don't know if it goes harder. Do you want to have a little go in there, baby Frank? Do you want to go in there with Nanny? Go in there with Nanny. Go on in. Come on. He's a bit, a bit funny, isn't he? Look. <laughs> go back. Oh! Yeah, he likes it now, look. Oh. You can stand up in there, Charlotte. No way. Just try this for size, shall No. Come on. You gotta try no. it all. No. <laughs> Come on, no Jimmy. Way. In here, let's go in the corner. Oh, not inside. <laughs> that, that will go there, hey? Can you see? Yeah. Let me get the light on as well. 
This is going to hang at the top here. Oh, it's all kitted out, Shell. Uh, well, you'll enjoy it tonight, wouldn't you? Look, watch me. Look, hold on. The one clip. Oh, yes. Well, you can hang it upside down, actually. If you just put that hanging upside down, you've got a hook there. Is that a hook? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's brilliant, isn't it? Oh, granddad's on you the imagine, throne. Shell, right? No. We're laying down there in bed at night. The campsite is pouring down with rain. And you have to go. Look, just no. lift it up. Look, Shell. No. Lift the seat up. Take the lid off. Like that. Right, and then I'm asleep. I'm snoring. And like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah? Hold on. <laughs> yeah? So right there. Yeah. There is a toilet roll you can put on either side. I would suggest this side. So you, you, you've got to do a bit of a... Pull the paper off. Yeah. And you've got to do a bit of that. And listen, maybe a bit of, listen. Bit I know that's a what myself. But then... Don't forget, it's in the paper, it's in a bag. Oh, You've done it in a bag. Oh, shut up! And all you do, you lift the two handles up on a bag, tie a knot, and then you can, well, either leave it there or dispose of it. It's entirely up to you. But in the event of an emergency, Sharon, that's fantastic. Just shut the doors, Jimmy. Just shut the door. What is it? Zip it? Yeah, zip it up. I want to see how dark it is in here. Mummy said it wasn't. Oh. Mind that red, uh, <laughs> yellow thing on the outside? That's your weather strip. Bye, Merlin. Oh, that's alright, Shell's dark, dark as you need it. Don't forget we've got the light on in there. So, yeah, turn it off, see how dark it is. Oh, that's alright, Shell, that's darker than a normal tent in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm happy with that. Yeah! That's yeah. alright, innit? Right, don't forget, we haven't put the wind sheet on properly, we've only tied it down in a couple of places. Yeah. You've got to be pleased with that, Shell. Sorry. All links will be in the description below this video, ah. folks, for the inflatable okay. bed, yeah. the light, and the tent. <laughs> oh, that's what I forgot to mention as well, folks. For the um, the airbed as well, you get a couple of them little plastic repair patches. They give you some of them in the packet. Yeah, very nice. Just stick them in that thing with the leaders. Yeah, yeah, darkroom technology, folks. There you go, six berth, let's support you around it. Let's say we haven't put the um, guy ropes on really properly. You will get a bit of light, but once this is pulled down, maybe down to there, down to the ground there, all the way around, then... That will secure that on, so we just try to get it up quickly, just to give you some sort of idea. Right, 10 o'clock at night folks. I thought we'd just come out and I brought Sharon out and have a look at the tent at night because I want to see if, when I turn the light on inside the tent, whether it illuminates outside or not. So let's just turn you around. Here we go, baby. So there's our tent. It looks like, Sharon, that that uh, ring is sort of illum illuminating, doesn't it? And I've got to watch out for the dogs, folks, because they've got a tendency to blink. Cocky leggy. Cocky leggy on the corner of tents and things. Well, they've never been near a tent, have they? So, so let's go inside. We did leave the bed pumped up. And we, we turned all the guy ropes down properly as they was. I, I had them wrong the first one, didn't I, Shell? Yeah. So you're just going to go halfway with that. That's it there. That, that'll do. So let's, just, so let's just go inside first of all. I'm just going to turn the light off for a minute, folks. Hold on. So we, we're in pitch black. Right. Let's get inside. Right, turn that light on, shall I? Above your nut. Oh, I'll, 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 I'll find it. Oh, I've got it. I've got it. I'll find it. Pay with us, folks. Hold on. A bit dark in here. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's nice, shall I? Right, let me just sit on the throne, shall I? Right, you lean, lean no. back a little bit. I don't want to. No. So, I'll go outside, right, and then I'll, you shut the door, and you're sitting here on your well, own. Why can't you shut the door? Because I've got a camera in my hand, baby. It's only <laughs> Come on. Let's go outside. Merlin, out. She's made me do it, she look, I'm gonna have to do it. You know Let me turn this light on, Sharon again, hold on. Right, here we go, see what I'm doing now. So yeah, this just shuts halfway, folks. That's like a, a weather strip there, look. So you make sure that's out of the way when you uh, do your zips down or up or whatever. Right, okay. So mm. that light's on now, Sharon, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so I'm just gonna turn this outside light off, folks. Hold on, bear with me. And we've got a blinking light on the 
on the wall here, which I want to turn off. Hold on. Bear with me. It might get a bit dark out here. Yeah? Right, right. There we go. There we go. So that's not too bad, is it? I can see just a little bit of light. But you can basically see that it really hides the light well, doesn't it? Look. Yeah, let me just turn the light on again, my little spotlight, and just brighten it up a bit. So yeah, that works well, Sharon. So we can be sitting in there with a light on, and normally you see the outlines of shadows of people, well, you don't see that there. Mm. Oh, you're going to sleep, baby. No, it's too cold. <laughs> it's not cold. cold. Let's get it open up here. Let's get it open. Let's get it open. <laughs> There you go. There you go, baby. I'll tell you what, you not look comfortable, Sharon. Yeah? We'd better have had a cover over me. Yeah, you not look comfortable. <laughs> look at it, it's like a Dalek, Chef. It's not funny. Hey? It's not funny. Anyway, just thought we'd show you that, folks. And this light here, let me just um, turn the inside light off again. Hold on. <sighs> Bear with me. <sighs> right, this light here, this is what I was trying to explain to you earlier. If you press it once again, oh, no, it goes off. Hold on. There you go. It goes sort of like a like a little night light shadow, doesn't it? Yeah. You can't see that, but you can see the difference in the light. And let's press it again. And it goes a bright, bright white light again. I would sleep in here tonight, but it just spoiled the enjoyment. I think I'll wait till I go cat or why, we go. Why would it spoil the enjoyment? <laughs> It'd be a good test. Well, because I can I know that you're just inside, you see. But I'll tell you what, with that door open, I can feel a bit of a chill in here. It's cold. <laughs> Lucky enough I've got a nice cosy twin sleeping bag just for me and my wife you're my wife now yeah but would I need me do that at all I don't know Sharon we're only going to know through experimentation but if the worst comes to the worst I can't be we can just go to bed with our clothes on Sharon oh one more thing to realise folks I never realised that you can actually separate the inner and just have the fly screen on the outside so you do that Shut it completely up, and there is a half fly screen there. So that top flip can fold down, it gives you sort of a window, which I never realised. There you go, just another feature I forgot to mention, because I didn't know. So there you go, folks. That's our little uh, foray, our first Right, I've foray. done the camping for you, that's it. I've got to go now, I've done it, look, I'm in bed. You're a terrible woman, <laughs> terrible woman. We'll see you later on, folks. You're my wife now.